side splits tips. So if you want to increase your range of movement um, in that position with the legs out here, um, to lengthen the adductors, the muscles that are on the inside of your thighs, then give this one a go. So you're gonna take your legs out to the side, but you do need to be sat right upon your sitting bones. So rather than back here with a curved spine sitting on the fleshy part of the bottom, you need to be on top of those bones in your bottom. So lifting up nice and tall, if you can't sit straight with the legs out, you need to bring them further in, making sure that you can get the spine nice and straight. So we're going to start with the legs out, lifting up nice and tall, and you're going to rotate the body to face your leg, and then lift and take the body long down over the leg. So rather than thinking nose down to knee, you're thinking of sternum towards the foot and getting the tummy to lie towards the thigh. So you're lengthening this position. If you're finding that tricky to get the body over the leg, you can use something to help you. So you can use um, a resistance band like this one, or a tie, or a scarf, or a long sock, anything that you can wrap around your foot. So you're gonna flex the foot, and then you can use that to pull your body forwards. Keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed, you can lengthen the body forwards using um, this resistance band. So keeping the body folded forwards, keeping the knees facing the ceiling. So don't allow the legs to, to roll either way. You still need to engage the muscles to control through the stretch. So lengthening the spine. And then you can walk the hands round to the center to bring the body central. And again, lengthening the spine. So you're folding from the hips rather than from the upper back and reaching forward. See how far you can reach with your fingertips and then hold it there and then take a deep breath in and see if you can just release the elbows down further towards the floor to bring the body a little further forwards. But keep the spine long. And we've all got different range of movement. So your focus should be on improving your flexibility. It doesn't matter how flexible someone else in your household is. Um, don't compare yourself to anyone. You're working on increasing your flexibility. So see how far you can get your fingers, draw a little line and see if that improves um, over a period of time. Then you can walk the hands around to the other leg. So you're rotating and take the body long over the leg. Taking deep breaths to try and relax, get some oxygen through to the muscles, keep the body relaxed, and think about the muscles at the back of the leg lengthening. <clears throat> so just try and get rid of any tension that you've got in those legs, lengthen, and then you can walk it back round to the center, keeping the spine long, relax the legs, and take a deep breath. I'd recommend doing that four times maybe, around each side and then once you're done you can bring the legs together slowly to the middle give them a little shake and see how they feel once you've given that a go let me know how you got on below and if you've got a friend you want to share that with then forward it on to them and see how they get on with that exercise as well